We first brought you the story of the Powell quintuplets on Christmas of 2007. We thought you'd like to see how the quints are doing today. Steve and Stephanie Powell had prayed for a long time for children. So when they learned they were pregnant in 2001, they had no idea how their life was about to change. When they told us that we were going to have five children, you know, I, I just think I went into complete shock. Due to the health risks of carrying that many babies, doctors immediately encouraged the Powells to reduce the number of children from five to three. Steve worried about Stephanie's health and struggled with the decisions that followed. I was very scared. And, um, and I was also afraid that we were going to have five children with severe disabilities. And just that alone had me scared to death. So I would like to say that we were just confident in the Holy Spirit the whole time, you know, that, that we were not going to reduce. Um, and even though I'd always pray that, when the doctors tell you that's what you need to do, I mean, you listen to them. But the Powells wanted all the babies. So preparation for a family of seven began. So we just cleaned everything out, and we were garage sailing fools. <laughs> we spent every Saturday for a good month, I guess, and um, just stocked up. You know, we just planned on boys and girls for many years because we knew we wouldn't be getting out shopping, and um, and we did. We bought everything: shoes, onesies, yeah, cute dresses for Toys. when they were older, yeah. Thirteen weeks into the pregnancy, she went on bed rest. Her doctor wanted her to carry the babies at least 30 weeks. Steve took care of me until 22 weeks. And then um, that's when we went back into the hospital. We knew that time it was for good. You know, we knew I didn't even want to be home. It was, it was so scary to even be home by myself at that point. And I was huge and I couldn't do anything for myself, you know. So I was really happy to be in the hospital. On October 28, 2001, five Powell babies were delivered by C-section. Delivery was right at 1 o'clock, and um, Jacob was, he was 2 pounds, 5 ounces. Jackson was next, he was 2 pounds, 4 ounces. Chloe was next, she was 2 pounds, 7 ounces. Samuel was next, he was 2 pounds, 12 ounces. And Ella was last, and she was 2 pounds, 9 ounces. Everyone but Jacob went on a ventilator and all five stayed in the hospital until they reached a healthy weight. However, Steve and Stephanie's goal was to have the babies home by Christmas. I was ready to take us all home, although that's not a, <laughs> exactly how it all happened, but that's what, I, that, that's what I was ready for. Mom, Dad, and all five babies did make it home in time for Christmas together that first year. Yeah. It put Christmas in perspective, for sure, you know what I mean? It wasn't about gifts, it wasn't about any of that. We had family over at our house all day long, and they brought food, and we just sat around feeding babies, and it was very simple. It wasn't a typical Christmas at all for what most people, I think, you know, in America have. And so it was probably extra special just because we got back to the basics. The Quints are nine now, and everyone stays very active, playing the piano, competing on a soccer team, and memorizing verses for Bible Bowl competitions. These five are inseparable, even when it comes to helping mom with new baby brother Henry, who joined the family in October of this year. Oh, they're very tight. <laughs> yeah. The Powells have started numerous Christmas traditions over the last nine years to teach the Quints about the real reason for Christmas. One of their favorites when they were little was the birthday cake for Jesus. The real meaning of Christmas is Jesus' birthday and, and being with family and friends. The Powells help others celebrate Christmas as well. We want to help people that are less fortunate, so we, you know, we try to give to different groups at Christmas. People. When I give other people gifts, I feel warm inside. When we give things to other people, it makes them happy. It's all about that God loved us enough to send His Son, you know, and we just want them to, to understand that more than anything.